Are you preparing for any of these exams? CBLR regulations 2018 or regulation number six exam or CHA exam or customs broker exam or F card exam. All these are different name, but for the same exam. Right? So first of all, get very clear that all these are one and same. The exam is going to be conducted in the year 2024 in the month of March. And who's eligible for this? Just writing in brief on the board so that you have the correct information. First requirement is graduation. And in addition to graduation, CA, CS, CMA, LLM, MBA, any of these, right? Now, someone of you can ask a question that how these can be done without graduation. Friends, CA, CS, CMA, all three can be done even without graduation. That's why I told, I told that first is graduation and then this. Both are compulsory, right? So I'm writing the word here, end. So this indicates that graduation is compulsory and then these are the uh, additional eligibility criteria. Now, this MBA, this MBA, whether it is a regular, or part-time, or full-time, or distance, does not make a difference. Even executive MBA is good. And whichever be the subject, whether it is HR or finance or any other subject, that is okay. But this is eligibility criteria for appearing in this exam. This exam is considered to be one of the toughest exam, and that offers one of the best career opportunities. So if you're interested in making one of the best careers in India, other than a government job, then this is the option available. Okay, and whatever information you want to get, these numbers are continuously displayed on the board. You can always get in touch with us to know more. Now, this exam is based on law. So syllabus broadly divided in two parts. Number one, customs law and other laws. The weightage in the exam for customs law is around 85% and this is around 15%. This percent is not, is not prescribed by the government. But experience till now suggests that at least 85% is from the customs law. In the customs law, number one, the Customs Act. Now, Customs Act, Prime Office, it is a small book of 161 sections, but number of rules, regulations, notifications issued under the law are at least 10 times of the size of the Act. And what the majority of the students commit a mistake is, they focus only on the act, not on the rules, regulations, etc. So if you're not focusing on the rules and regulations and notification, then there is no possibility of passing this exam. Knowing only Customs Act is not sufficient for passing the exam. So Customs Act read with rules, regulations. relevant notifications and one of the most important thing is the customs manual all procedures are given here customs act read with the rules the regulation notifications plus customs manual number two the Customs Tariff Act, the Customs Tariff Act. Number three, I'm writing in brief, FTDRA, Foreign Trade Development Regulation Act. And this is the basis for foreign trade policy. All these things taken together, these require 
roughly 120 hours of coaching in the classroom. Other laws, this is Foreign Exchange Management Act, GST, IPR, Intellectual Property Rights, IPR is for copyright, patent, trademark, designs, etc. Okay, these are few broad names I have given. Then there are arms and munitions, arms and ammunition, then food safety, then environment, NDP is one of the prominent laws, narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances. This list is not exhaustive. This is exhaustive. And this covering up all this requires not less than 40 hours of coaching in the class. Taken together, minimum requirement for completing the syllabus in the class. For you, that will take you three times more. Right. After completion of the class, you are required to revise again and again and again. So this is the minimum requirement for completing the syllabus. More time is needed in the class. The classes are held in the evening. All the classes are through the Zoom online classes. You will attend with me. The classes live and those are interactive classes. You can ask me question directly in the, during the class itself. And after the class, you can get in touch with me directly if you have any doubt. Okay, so this is the syllabus which we are going to cover in the class. I told you classes are going to be on Zoom and those are live interactive classes. And note the date. The classes are starting from 20th July 2023. And this will end on 20th February 2024. Classes are Monday to Friday. Saturday is a revision by yourself. Sunday is usually a test. Not every Sunday, but usually on Sundays we have test. Okay. In, now what happens in this exam? I told you this is one of the toughest examinations and eligibility criteria is already CA, CA, CMA, LLM, MBA. So you can understand. Despite that, result is never more than 10%. Why do people not pass this exam? They know the subject, but this exam is MCQ based in which there is a negative marking and people forget to practice MCQs. Somehow they try to avoid MCQ practice. And if you avoid MCQ practice, you try your best level best for, for preparing for the exam and it will not be easy to pass not be easy to pass. So what we do is we go into in-depth study of these subjects and then every week I put you through the test. How to attempt a test so that you can score better, right? That I will keep guiding you continuously how to study, how to memorize, how to remember, how to attempt test. Regularly these updates will be given to you. Note the date from 20th July 23 up to 20. Right? right now, early bird offer is going on and that early bird offer will continue up to 5th of July. Then early bird offer stops. So if you are interested for early bird offer, please get in touch on these numbers and as soon as possible, enroll yourself. So what happens when you enroll early? So even before the batch starts, we run pre-recorded videos at the scheduled time and we give you some basic learning of the subject even before the class starts. So don't wait till the batch starts. Join at the earliest possible. Double benefit Bonanza. Number one, you get the you get to know the subject in advance before the class begins. Number two, you get early word offer. So with this, I'll stop the video here. Please do get in touch and you have any doubt, don't hesitate to call. Thank you.